Welcome to the ARM New Reality Series. I'm John Romero and I'm a video game designer. What's up guys, I'm Jason Silva. I'm a futurist and I am a romantic. My name's Paul Williamson and I lead the part of ARM's business that's responsible for mobile devices and smartphone. of the ARM New Reality series, and I'm John Romero. I'm co-creator of the First Person Shooter. I created games such as Wolfenstein 3D, the Doom series, and Quake. In the 20 years that I've been developing mobile games, the biggest changes that I've seen are definitely increased CPU, more memory. Mobile devices are so fast nowadays, we don't have to worry about whether the game will be fast enough on the device. We just need to worry that the design will take advantage of the device. So the smartphone has evolved hugely since it was introduced in 2007, where it was originally just a, a tool that allowed basic web browsing, which would seem a huge innovation. But today we have apps and services we take for granted, like ride sharing or uh, food delivery services, where we're fusing data from a range of sources and bring that together to deliver things that we just take for granted. So to make those experiences that you have today in the smartphone as seamless as they are, five years ago, Arm was working on critical engineering that working with our partners delivers into the handset that you have in your hand today and makes those experiences possible. The co-founder of Wired Magazine, Kevin Kelly, describes technology as the seventh kingdom of life. He refers to it as the technium. And the key idea behind his thinking is that technology sprouts from human imagination. Technology is human imagination literalized. Technology is the embodiment of human creativity in the world. It comes through us and from us and therefore it belongs to us. Most people don't think of it, but the smartphone in your pocket today, in the hands of you or in the hands of a child in Africa, empowers you with better communications technology than a head of state had 25 years ago. So the tools to change the world are now in everybody's hands. And if you think of these tools as conduits to unconstrained imagination. They provide for us the possibility of radically extending our reach, radically expanding the repository of what we can do, the, 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 the dent that we can make in the universe. The reach of our impact is massively expanded on the back of technology, specifically mobile technology, which becomes again an extension of the self, an extension of our cognitive apparatus. So today at ARM, we're working on new mobile technologies that will deliver into your handset in five years time and working with our partners creating experiences that will form a new reality. So how might that new reality play out? Well, there's a couple of ways I like to think about it. One of those is digital immersion, which is something you might have experienced if you've watched the sci-fi movie Ready Player One. And that's where we fully immerse ourselves in a 3D world and into that technology, where we could potentially experience worlds that we can't even dream of, or certainly go to places and interact with people that are currently beyond our reach. I believe that technology is imagination literalized. I believe that technology is the embodiment of human creativity in the world and is very much an extension, a second skin of the human mind. As the cognitive philosophers David Chalmers and Andy Clark wrote in their seminal essay, The Extended Mind Thesis, technology is a scaffolding of the mind, one that extends our thoughts, our reach, and our vision. The second way to think about it is the invisible platform. 
That's more familiar perhaps from the sci-fi movie Her, where you might be wearing a small hearable in your ear, or perhaps even have a contact lens with an embedded display that allows you to have data and information overlaid onto the world around you, meaning that the riches of the world's information are at your fingertips at every moment of your day, taking away some of the chores and burdens of our life and bringing us new interaction with the world around us. When you consider augmented reality, that's an example of us literally overlaying human imagination upon the landscape of the real, essentially blending the mind world and the physical world. Now, augmented reality springing from mobile devices will follow us wherever we go. Perhaps eventually our mobile devices to, will link to contact lenses that are connected to the internet that, again, will overlay imagination upon the landscape, gamifying the world, gamifying our experience of reality. So how do we make that future reality? Well, this is the point at which ARM brings its engineering together with its partners and developers to make it accessible to them so that their dreams can be expanded to build these incredible experiences that will define our futures. I am passionate about the future. I believe that we use our tools and our technologies to overcome our limitations and transform.